is Sarah Stratton with news from the second day of the National Indigenous Spiritual Gathering. While participants will be making significant decisions at this event, it's also a time for nurture and creativity. This morning, students from the Sandy Soto Spiritual Center led worship, including a powerful Cree rendition of The Day is Past and Over. Youth participants spent part of their day making ribbon shirts and skirts, and also had the opportunity to explore the lands and waters of Rama First Nation territory. Using the Ojibwe Badaban process of reflection, participants broke into regional groups to discuss their concerns and hopes for the future church. They then met in cross-cutting or jigsaw groups to explore these themes across their experiences. Participants will return to this discussion tomorrow morning. After open space time to discuss issues as diverse as climate change or breaking barriers to practicing Indigenous spirituality, they reconvened to meet and ask questions of those nominated to the National Indigenous Council. The Council vote takes place on Saturday. That's it for today from the National Indigenous Spiritual Gathering.